This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine. Your stem cells, your health, your life. So this, is, uh, this short course is focused on uh, swine nutrition and feed manufacturing. Uh, it's sponsored by the U.S. Soybean Expert Council and is focused for uh, Japanese swine nutritionists swine and the people that work in, this, in swine farms. So they go all the way from the growing reproductive stages, uh, people that work there, and also on the feed side. So uh, this is a part of a program that the Kansas Soybean Commission is helping funding to bring this group of people to learn all the different um, ways and how to make feed better and also pretty much help them on all the technical side of things in terms of nutrition and what is out, the new stuff that is out there for on the swine side. Uh, with this group, uh, it's not the same people, but uh, under the USIC Japan office, we bring two groups a year, one for swine nutrition, one for poultry, also, again, funded by Kansas Soybean Commission. So this is the first one of the year. So pretty much what we have, we organize the course is that we do one day feed manufacturing, second day we focus on swine nutrition, and then we do field trips. We always like to take them to a, a corn and soybean farm so they could see all the different techniques and how a farmer works in the United States. We're really excited to have the tour here from Japan this morning. Uh, give them kind of a taste of what we do here in Kansas on our farm. Uh, we farm about 5,000 acres, um, quite a bit bigger than what they're used to seeing where they're at. Uh, we did show them a little bit with our, our feed mill or in our feed operation here. Uh, they sure enjoyed uh, the cattle and seeing that because I'm, I'm not for sure how many of them actually get to see the cattle. The, one of the big highlights, I guess, for them today was the, the tractor that's right behind me. Uh, they really gravitated around that, loved it. Everybody had to have their picture with it, so that was kind of cool to see that. So we always try to visit Kansas Soybean Commission, uh, so they learn about a checkoff program and also see uh, the whole facility and how the administration works. And then we always take them to a commercial feed mill here in Kansas so they could see how swine feed is made up from the commercial side of things. And then uh, last, uh, uh, in they end up always in Kansas City, so they could fly out. But we take them to a commercial uh, containerized sporting facility, which in this case is the, the, the long one that is here in uh, uh, south of Kansas City. So that's pretty much we like to combine technical side plus field trips. And we also do hands-on activities our, in our um, Kansas State uh, OH Cruise Feed Technology Center, which is our, our, our feed mill. It's really important for us to, you know, have that bond with those guys over there and uh, give them a feel for what they're going to buy from us and uh, kind of maybe put a face with the product, even though it really won't be our products going to them. But, they, you know, they have an idea of the people on the backbone that goes to their products that they're seeing and what they're dealing with. Tarwater Farm and Home has been family owned and operated since its beginning in 1978. What you need for farm and agriculture, lawn and garden, clothing and footwear, and so much more. You'll be surprised at what you'll find in this huge store. They have what you need and lots of it. So come take a look. You'll discover that customer service is first and foremost. Always has been with the Tarwaters. Tarwater Farm and Home, 4107 North Topeka Boulevard. 